Alright, fellow YouTube, it's Caleb Craig, Deadpool Toaster 2, here to bring you a review on the Batman vs. Superman DC Comics Multiverse Batman Unmasked. Yeah, I skipped that on the first Batman because I just thought that, like, I don't know, it just looked weird. And this one, this one is looking awesome, and I do like the face sculpt. And so, let's take a look at the box, and we'll look at the actual figure. Alright, it says DC Comics Multiverse at the top. Nice view of the figure. Batman at the bottom saying Batman vs. Superman Batman Unmasked. DC Comics Multiverse here on this side. Logo at the bottom. A bigger picture of Batman on this side. And on the back shows a grapple gun that you can make, which I will not be completing. And there's Batman on the side. Let's say a quick look at the box, so now let's look at the actual figure. Okay, and here he is out of the box. I'm just going to say it. I really like this figure. I, they did an awesome job to me on the head sculpt, even though it doesn't really look that much like Ben Affleck. But still, it's a very cool figure. Like, I'm very impressed. I love the paint. It looks way better than the first, like, figure they came out with. And it doesn't look that bad whenever you put on the mask. So now let's take a closer look at the figure. Here you can see right here, the face sculpt does not look that bad at all, like I said before. And I do love how you can see a little bit of like aftershave in there, but at the same time, it's not too messy. The eyes don't look cross-sided. The paint doesn't look that bad. The skin tone looks very good to me. Didn't come out bad at all. That looks very good. Also, I want to say it's very easy to get this figure to stand. And what we have here is the mask. You can see there, the mask has like a kind of, you can see some texture in there. It's a bit shiny how they have it. You can see here it's easy to put it on. You just open that up and put it across his head. So it's very easy to put on. So we can put it on right here. And it's just like that. It's connected. It just easily like closes where it's not showing. I really like that. And to me, I don't know. It doesn't look that bad. Let me push it down a little bit. Make sure it's completely on. And there it is. Now see so here's the thing. In the movie... Batman did have a pretty huge head. Ben Affleck has a huge head. So to me, this kind of matches it, and to me, it doesn't look that bad at all. Kind of like here, we have the mask on. The eyes are real dark. You can't see in there quite as much. Unless it's close, you can see the eyes. Mouth, of course, is showing. That doesn't look bad at all. I love the detail on the logo on the chest. They did an awesome job on that. You can see some stitching, but it's not that bad. And I love the gray that they went with with this one. It's darker. It's not quite as light as the last one. Looks very good. I like the belt, how you can see there's gold in there, but you can see it's like scratched up and stained. I like that effect. I like that they put detail in there. There's more detail in the belt. Then this gray here just looks like kind of a glossy, shine, shiny light plastic. But it doesn't look that bad at all. And also here they went with this kind of clay black. I like that. And you can see a little bit of gold tips. But they're kind of like more darker. Like this is just like to me just an upgrade from the first figure. So looking at the gauntlets they don't look bad at all. You can see they're on the knuckles. There's still a bit of orange. Not orange. Yeah what's wrong with me? Gold there. So the gold doesn't look that bad at all. I do like that little effect on there. And I do like the little bit right there on the spikes of gold. It does look pretty good. And this is the same black that matches what is on the boots and what's on the uh, cape, which we're about to look at. The iconic view I like for him and Superman is where you can see them from the back and all you see is just the head and the cape. But with this one, you can still see the arms. You can see the texture in the cape. It doesn't look bad. It's not like just a straight black. It's a lot of different little lines in there, little blocks and patterns. I like how it looks. You can see the wrinkles in there. It doesn't stop any articulation and it also doesn't like make the figure fall over. So I feel like they did an awesome and excellent job on the cape. The only small gripe that I would have is that sometimes you got to push down a little bit to make sure both eyes are showing. But past that, it still looks very nice. And here, when you look at the head, it can only look that far up and that far down. All right, here, if you look at the actual articulation, it can actually move the foot that far back, that far forward. No ankle pivot. You can here bend at the legs, well, bend at the knees. Can't go that far, and you can twist here. I'm very content with the twisting being there instead of more high. It's fine with me. And then you can see that you can open the legs up very far. So he does have that kind of crotch factor that can do the split. Here you can see with the abs, he can bend forward that much. And I like the arms. Like the feel of the arms is very smooth. So I do like that. Whoops, sorry there. But you can see it's very smooth. It's easy for that to come out. It's very easy to bend here. They gave him a lot of muscle definition, so that looks cool twist can't do anything with the wrist this can move one thing that's a little weird is that i don't know if this is how the other figure was but they did give him this uh finger for holding a weapon and he doesn't come with the weapon to hold but you see how the finger is no idea so i'm guessing uh i'll find the figure i'll find a, a gun for him to hold but as you can see there yeah that's the articulation arms can go about that far out 
and they can can they go back yeah they can go back but not that far as you can tell but i do think it's a pretty cool ab crunch and the figure does feel real really cool like if they would redo the same body and the same like colors as this one and then give them just a normal like you know mask sculpt that would be awesome but i do like this one and i do like the idea that they did like i used to be a sucker i love the figures and marvel legends didn't really do this that much but where you could like attach parts to them like you could have it where they were normal and then they could suit up i saw one iron man from the first movie where they did that but i didn't see that many other ones but i'm a sucker for this type of stuff and i think it's really cool and i've been waiting for one of these to pop up at one of my stores but this was a look at the unmasked batman from dc comics multiverse hope you guys enjoyed my review and i'll see you in future videos bye